everyone, today I'm going to show you how to deploy to the Google Play Store using Flutterflow and Codemagic. So here's my project. I'm going to go to Settings and Integrations and Deployment. Before we start, I want to remind you that you can deploy from any branch if you have your GitHub connected. If you want to see the instructions for that, check out the deployment to the App Store video. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, you need to make a Google Play console account at play.google.com console. And then it'll ask you to log in. And here's mine. So first, what we want to do is create app. And fill out all of this. And then click create app. All right, so here's our app. First of all, if this is a new account, you're gonna have a box here that says verify ID. I recommend doing that as soon as possible because it can take up to two days and you might run into issues if you don't have your ID verified. The first thing you wanna do is go down here to set up your app and fill out all of this info. You can change it later and it doesn't need to go through review in order to get it to work, but it does need to be filled out. So to change your app store listings, you'll go to main store listing and change that stuff. And then go down to app content to change all the other questions. But fill it out first on the dashboard. You might run into the ID issues here. If that's true, you can do the rest of the stuff. Um, you just can't deploy from Flutterflow until this is done. So I've already filled that out on another one. So we're going to use that. But first, what we want to do is create our service account credentials. So you're going to go to API access and create new service account and go to the Google platform. Go up here to create service account. Create and continue. It needs to be an editor service account. And then we're done here. Go ahead and download the keys by going to manage keys, add key, create new one. We need the JSON and then it'll download to your computer. Make sure you store it securely and don't upload it to your GitHub. If you do though, then delete the service account and redo all of these steps and then re-upload it here at Flutterflow. So we're gonna go back here to API access and grant access. Go to app permissions, add app. I'm going to add test because that's the one that we're going to look at for the rest of this. Um, use all the default settings and then click invite user. Okay, so now we're going to upload our credentials on Flutterflow. and we're gonna choose a play track. So these are just different testing tracks. We're gonna start with internal because that's what we're gonna do first over here, but basically this is internal testing and then uh, closed is alpha, open is beta, and then you go to production. So we're gonna start with internal and we're gonna click deploy to Play Store. And once the deploy is done, we can see that it was submitted. We can check the build status here. And we expect it to fail the first time because you need to upload the AAB manually. So we're going to download the AAB, which is the app bundle. And then go back to your dashboard and create a new release.
upload the app bundle that you download from the Florida Flow website. Okay, so it's uploaded. Then we're going to click Save and Review Release. And don't worry about these warnings here. And then start rollout to internal testing. And then you are going to pick your testing list, save, and now you have your release. And now that we have our release, we can go back to Flutterflow. I'll just change something really fast so that the deploy will work. And then we'll click Deploy to Play Store. Okay, so now we'll check our build status. And it finished. So now we can go back and check the console. And we have our new release. So lastly, if you want to deploy to a different track, um, first you need to create that track. So we're going to go here, manage track. You need to add countries and regions. Select testers. And then create a new release. So you can either upload the AAB like we did before, or you can go to a release from a different track and promote the release. And it takes our app bundle from the internal track, review release, and roll out to alpha. And now that we've created this one, we could go to Flutterflow, change to alpha, and deploy to Play Store like usual. So that's how you deploy to the Google Play Store from Flutterflow. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.